Welcome. Today, we're diving into one of the most essential yet controversial substances in our diets. Salt. More than just a flavor enhancer, salt is deeply involved in our biology. But how can something so vital also be potentially harmful? Composition and active components. Let's break down what's inside one teaspoon of table salt, approximately. 6 grams. Primary compound, sodium, Ne plus. Vital for nerve conduction, muscle function, and fluid balance. Chloride, Cl minus. Supports digestion by forming hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Trace minerals, in natural sea salt or Himalayan salt. Magnesium, Mg2 plus. Helps regulate muscle and nerve function. Calcium, Ca squared plus. Important for bone health. Potassium, K plus. Works with sodium to maintain cellular balance. Iron, Fe, found in pink salts, supports red blood cell production. Zinc, iodine, when fortified. Iodized salt prevents thyroid disorders. Supporting functions, electrolyte balance, sodium and chloride regulate fluid volume and pH. Nerve impulses, sodium is essential for transmission of electrical signals in the brain and muscles. Stomach acid production, chloride is needed for digestive acid, HCOL. Preservation, salt prevents microbial growth in foods. Medical benefits, maintains hydration, helps balance water levels in and around cells. Supports, nerve and muscle function, ensures normal muscle contractions and reflexes. Boosts digestion, stimulates the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Prevents iodine deficiency. Iodized salt supports thyroid health and hormone production. Note, salt is vital. But most people consume too much, mainly from processed foods. Even natural salts can harm if overused. For those with heart, kidney, or blood pressure issues, moderation is key. Always check labels and consult your doctor. Who should be cautious? Individuals with high blood pressure. Excess sodium may raise blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease. People with kidney disease. Salt can worsen fluid retention and strain damaged kidneys. Osteoporosis risk groups. High sodium intake increases calcium loss through urine. Children and elderly. Sensitive populations should consume less sodium due to increased health risks. Those eating ultra-processed foods. Hidden salts in processed items often lead to excess intake unknowingly. Possible harms of excessive salt. Hypertension, high blood pressure, major risk factor for heart attacks and strokes. Water retention and bloating, common symptom of sodium overload. Kidney strain, high sodium burdens filtration systems. Increased risk of stomach cancer, chronic excess salt may damage the stomach lining over time. Calcium loss, excessive salt can leach calcium from bones, weakening them. Daily use, recommendation, Ideal intake, according to WHO, under 5 grams of salt per day, about 1 teaspoon. Choose natural sources. Sea salt or Himalayan salt contains trace minerals, but use in moderation. Flavor alternatives. Use herbs, lemon, garlic, or pepper to enhance taste without excess sodium. Stay hydrated. High salt intake should be balanced with proper water consumption. Salt, when used wisely, is a life-sustaining mineral. But when consumed excessively, it can silently damage the body over time. Salt is both a nutrient and a potential hazard. The secret lies in the quantity. Subscribe and join us daily as we uncover the science and healing powers behind everyday ingredients. Thanks for watching.